I would say it's about 375. 400 bucks. Appreciate your time. Thank man. Storage Wars is an American reality TV series that's been running successfully on A&E for 13 seasons now. While the show has given its viewers some great moments, there have been some very embarrassing moments on the show too. Do you want to know about these moments? Well, then you're at the right place because today we're going to be telling you all about some of the most embarrassing moments caught on Storage Wars. So let's get into it. Number one, Elvis Presley's death newspapers. American singer and songwriter Elvis Presley died in 1977 when he was only 42 years old. A box filled with newspaper articles of Elvis' untimely death was found in Storage Wars, but the situation became very awkward, as the last thing one would want to make money off of would be someone's death news. However, it's worth mentioning that this was a very elaborate and rare collection of Elvis' death news and was worth about $90,000. Take a look at the Memphis Press. This is a reprint of the five-day event after Elvis passed away. I believe that this one is valued. Number two, an alive snake and its nest. Brandon Sheets was looking forward to checking the items after he won the storage box in an episode, but all his excitement went away when he found albino Burmese python's nest inside. The snake was also alive, as this particular kind of snake can live for a long period without having any food. What happened here was that the person who owned this locker before was using it in secret as a breeding area, as he wanted to sell these snakes as exotic pets. This turned out to be quite an embarrassing moment as Brandon did not get good money from this locker, but instead got an alive snake and its nest. Now let's see what you got back there. Give it a tug. Oh, Number three, a human leg. Shannon Wisnant found a meat smoker in the storage unit he won. When he lifted the lid of the smoker, he was shocked to see an amputated human leg in there. Shannon immediately reported it to the police. The police eventually tracked down the real owner of the locker, who was a man named John Wood. It turned out in 2004, John Wood lost his leg above the knee due to a plane crash. He decided to keep his leg so that it could be buried with him when the time comes. This is why he kept it hidden in the unit, but then he forgot about it and sold the unit after he fell behind on the payments. Shannon handed the leg over to the police, who sent it to the funeral home. And what's the problem there? I got a human foot. Have a what? A human foot. And this bum nasty got me grossed out. Before we move ahead, if you're new to our channel and you're liking our content so far, make sure to click the subscribe button and press the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload a new video for you. With that being done, let's get back to our topic. Number four, whale poop in a jar. Imagine buying a locker and then finding a jar filled of whale poop inside. Could it get any more embarrassing? Brandon Sheets once found a jar filled with whale stuff inside while rummaging through the newly purchased locker. Seeing the jar was already embarrassing enough, but then we got to see experts testing it by sticking a hot needle into it to confirm it was real. This discovery brought literal meaning to the word crap that can be used for many of the items found inside lockers in Storage Wars. Number five, a beehive. One time on the show, a beehive was found inside of a locker and the bees started coming out as soon as the locker was opened. Everyone ran away as quickly as they could to avoid getting stung. Watching all the men run away from bees on television was quite embarrassing. Laurie, on the other hand, took advantage of the situation and bid not only just on the beekeeping equipment inside, but also on the bees and the beehive. Number six, a gas mask for $450. Only to make fun of Dave Hester's signature and very annoying yup, Jared and Brandy started sarcastically bidding on a unit, but then suddenly they got so into it that they had to eventually buy it for $450. When they opened the unit to look for the items, they saw a sealed shut vintage canteen that looked like it was closed a long time ago. Risking their safety, they opened it, but to their dismay, only stale air came out of it. It was an embarrassing moment for them, as the unit they fought for with Dave to make fun of him ended up being of no use to them. Then they saw a very old gas mask in it that looked like it was almost used once. Even though it was better than getting nothing, it was still not worth the price they paid for the unit. I would say it's about 
375. 400 bucks. Appreciate your time. Thank man. And with that, our video comes to an end. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like the video. What did you think of the video today? Which one of these embarrassing moments on Stores Wars did you enjoy the most? Don't forget to tell us about it in the comment section below. If you have not already subscribed to our channel, what are you waiting for? Go hit that subscribe button and press the bell icon too. We'll see you in the next one.